Hello everyone, it's me, it's Will, and today we're playing Life is Strange, episode 5. This is the final episode of this series. I've enjoyed every single one of them. Been a lot of fun. It's been very dark, <laughs> but it's been a lot of fun. We, uh, we had a bad day. I don't want to spoil things for you, so if you haven't seen the previous episode, you need to go back and watch it. It's very dark. But uh, we've been drugged by Mr. Jefferson. And our dear friend Chloe has been shot in the head. She's dead. Before that, we found Rachel Amber. She's dead, too. Terrible. Okay, we are duct tape in. It's not, it's not good. Not a good time. Alright, let's wake up. We are in a very nice studio, though, in a... Great underground bunker. I believe that's where we are. Yep. Okay. That's where we are, isn't it? Chloe? What? Where? It's a dark room. Oh, look at that. She's got a weird butterfly shirt on. Alright. Is there a way out of this place? We cannot fast forward. Everybody out there! Oh, there's Victoria. Oh shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too. Okay. This well, is let's so talk. Bad. Victoria. Wake up. Wake up. Okay, so let's detach our left hand. Somebody no. Help me. Of course. And right in front of me. Got a syringe. God. I don't remember anything that happened. Got a photo. Oh shit. That's me. He took that shot last night. How about your foot. Ah, good job. Finally. I'm free. Almost. All we gotta do is pull the trolley over, I think. Creepy. Um, well, is there anything else we can do? Oh shit! Okay, we know that. We know that. Perhaps Victoria too. God, I don't remember anything that happened. Okay, maybe we should push this back. Maybe this we're too early for that. Yeah, because there's no nothing else we can do with this so far. Okay, we starting off. Right off the bat, with a Life is Strange style problem. If I could move it towards me. What are you gonna do when you move it towards you? Okay. I say you try to walk with that chair, but okay, you do it your way. Okay, we did that, so let's skip it. Can we take anything? Huh. Oh, okay, we move. <laughs> Use the uh, thumbstick to move a little bit. These straps are hurt. Okay. There's n what else can we do? God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Huh. Now then, 
<laughs> we are really trapped here. Huh. Okay. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Can we look at it harder? We can do one I of those things. I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Okay, we focus. Got it. Oh, that's terrible. That's a terrible picture. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Well, he's very flattering, at least. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Now you can see where Nathan Prescott gets a lot of his mannerisms. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who... I was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Huh. Nice. Oh, good. Are you gonna frame Nathan? Oh, those eyes. I mean, he's terrible, so but still. Bad. You're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Oh, this is this is terrible. Max, I feel really please uncomfortable. Do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Uh. Now don't move, or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! Ah, we ruined it. Do you? In fact, you never we did spilt all his drugs. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. Okay, going back to sleep.
Okay, well, who took that picture? Ah, oh, look at- okay, okay, we- we, uh... We did that, so that's gonna be a bit different, right? Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Alright, so there's a new picture. Okay, let's look at the camera. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good, now I can use them. Eh. Okay, we can't. Okay, it's fine. Stains on his photos. No, that picture is. Okay, we did that picture. Sorry, let's skip it. I can't go through all. How about this one? I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Whoa. Okay. I I'm definitely more awake in this okay, photo. Okay, okay. I could try this one. Huh? Okay. I broke those files when I kicked the trolley. Okay. Uh, focus on picture. This might work. Please work. Wait, it was already fo- okay, it's not focus. Huh? Got it! I'm getting some spectacular images here. This is a nightmare. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, man. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment. Innocence evolved into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. That was corny. Oh, contrary, Max. <laughs> I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Then why did you blame David Madsen for stalking Kate? Of course he was the only person who was about to find out the truth. Irony. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have oh. a major scandal. Well, I feel bad about David then. The town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated, like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune, who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could
could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Oh, that's terrible. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Really? Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise huh. my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why hmm. your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Okay. So I guess, uh... I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. I guess we go back? See why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer. Nope. Nope. We, we, we messed up. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came. Wait. Okay, speak. Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Um, here, my diary. You, you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. All right, sucker. Gave me something to look at. All right, let's skip that. There. Focus on photo. Oh, this is going to take us way back, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Okay, Where, where's the focus? Okay, there it is. There it is, both thumbsticks, upper left. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you. Ah, here we are. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call. See, a see, look, look, his little speech is so much pack. darker now. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, 
Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? No. The Daguerrean process. He was a real visionary, not a hypocrite. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean by that? I mean that he actually created something. He didn't just take pictures of models and pretend they were art. I'm not Ooh, sure I get that connection, but, uh, yes, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. <laughs> Max has clearly read more into them than I have. And guys, don't forget the deadline to We're gonna a put a bullet in your head to change time. To San Francisco, where you'll be fed by the First, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. How do we do that? Together, Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too, and yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I see you. I, I see you harder than you think. In the dark room. Okay, warn David. So, wait. Can we just go? I should be able to track down David's number from the screen. Oh, okay. Found you. David Madsen, 555-630-8243. 620-88... What? Wait, no. This diary literally saved Wait. my life. Warn David. For okay, we didn't have David, to memorize it. I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. Okay, let's see what he has to say. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Okay. The past within the past. Oh no. Am I pushing myself too hard? Okay, we got a we got a bloody nose. Hey Kate. It doesn't matter. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. Feel better, Kate. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. No, we both had tough weeks. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. Just because you can't see my hell doesn't mean I don't suffer too. Alright. Hey. Hey, Victoria. Victoria. I'm sorry you have to stand next to me. Alright, give my photo. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, burn. And why Sick not? Burn. Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. Yeah. Keep walking. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh. Uh, that was easy. No. 
It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be okay. Well, that's, that's good advice. Innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Well, don't, don't, whoa. Why are you... Tell him all these things. Okay. So did all these things still happen? Yeah, they did. Holy crap. Oh, you got look at you guys. All busted. Now that didn't happen, did it? Everything's better. I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we did all that. Okay, you know what? Let's call it an episode right there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. There's going to be more Life is Strange as soon as possible. I'm going to be playing this non-stop until I'm done. And I will be releasing episodes as soon as I can. Be patient. Have a busy life. But, should be fairly soon. For now, this is Will. I am signing off. Take care of yourself. And I will see you next time.